Alright guys, Nate here from Blades and Boom. We're going to talk about a boker knife today. I know everyone's going, ah, oh, boker, but this one's pretty cool and it's a great user knife. I've been carrying this one for a week now. It's the Boker Plus Grip Lock, designed by G&G Hawk. Love those guys. This is a pretty unique, unique knife. Uh, let's talk about the philosophy of use for this real quick. This is a lightweight EDC. Uh, it looks pretty big, but at a weight of just three ounces for a knife this size, uh, 3.5 inch blade by the way, uh, it's pretty light. Um, some people don't like that. They say it feels like a toy in their hand. I disagree. I think it's great for your, your daily carry kind of light use blade. Uh, let's talk about the steel it uses. Uh, this is a OS 8 Japanese steel, uh, hardened to 56 on the Rockwell scale. So a decent, decent uh, steel for a lightweight knife. I can say it does hold an edge very well. I've been using this for a week and I know that printer paper is a little bit easier to cut, but I don't have a lighter weight paper here. It cuts extremely well still, um, even with a week of relatively hard use. Um, not bad at all. I haven't sharpened it at all since it came out of the box. Now, this this knife's unique because it does not actually lock. You can see it's open right now, and it closes right up. Um, it uses something that they call the grip lock, which means that this little lever here locks up as soon as you put your hand on it. So if I put my finger right here, I can no longer close the blade. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm pushing with a good amount of force. Um, you can see my thumb turning white there. As soon as I let go of it, it closes right up again. A uh, great knife. It works extremely well. Now, is this lock up as good as, say, a frame lock or a liner lock? Um, I don't think it was ever meant to be. Uh, it's something convenient and quick to use. When you're cutting open a package or something, you don't necessarily need the strength of a liner frame, liner lock or a frame lock, or maybe even a lock back design. Uh, this is created to be more like the convenience of a slip joint with a little bit more of the security of a lock included. Now, if that doesn't make you comfortable enough, if you think, if you're too worried uh, or want to have some heavier use, it does include this lock back here, which when engaged, it does lock the blade. Uh, still relying on the same mechanics, it just stops it from moving. Um, so if you are holding it in kind of a funny manner, uh, say you're using it up here on the blade, you can lock it down still. Um, let's talk about the handle material real quick. Because it is such a lightweight knife, it's an aluminum handle. The knife overall has a seven and a half inch uh, length. Um, like I said, it's got that three and a half inch blade with a drop point. Uh, very nicely done. Mine's a little bit dirty from use, but not bad overall. Uh, ergonomics. Love the ergonomics of this knife. It feels great in the hand. Uh, these smooth lines feel good in the hand and that little finger trello up front gives a nice purchase. It does have some jimping here, but I find that they're they're a little bit too lightweight to get a lot of grasp on. But for a lightweight knife such as this one, I'm not so sure you'd really need uh, much more than what they provide. Um, the clip design is wonderful. I know on some of the newer ones, they do have a clear model. They've got that special um, g g Hawk clip now instead of this one. Uh, it's an extremely stiff clip, but due to its design, I have no problem putting it on even thicker pockets. Um, so, and it doesn't slide around at all. So, love that clip design, Boker. Good job. Uh, it is smooth, so it doesn't tear up your pocket, um, which is nice. Um, durability. It's definitely a strong lockup. Um, Keeping that POU in mind, it's it's not something you would take out in your in the woods as a as your main knife. Um, I don't see any reason why this would fail, even if you did. Uh, but it is using aluminum.
Um, let's talk about its cool factor real quick. This is a really cool knife, and we're going to talk about the uh, function and the way that this works in a second here. Um, you can definitely get uh, some nice looks. When you pull this out of your pocket, it just looks classy. Uh, it opens really fast. Um, this flipper design takes a little bit of getting used to because it's kind of more on the outside. Uh, so you're pulling it down more than towards you like others. Um, once you get used to that, it, it deploys extremely fast and closes just as quickly. Um, definitely has a cool look to it. Um, let's talk about value here real quick. It's got a great value. I, I picked this up for $70 off of Amazon. Um, it's got an MSRP of $123.95. I don't know if I would pay hundred over $100 for it. Um, but certainly for that $70 mark, uh, it's a great knife. Um, I always appreciate unique knives that are extremely usable. This is certainly one of those. Um, it's, it's so convenient to be able to just close up the blade without having to unlatch it first. Um, it's not a big deal. I don't mind latches. I'm, I'm pretty used to latches by now, but, uh, it is, it is different, uh, being able to just quickly close it up. Let's go through how this actually functions real quick. I'm going to cut away and then we'll cut back with the knife opened up. All right, guys, we've got the knife opened up and you can already see its unique traits. Now, one of the, uh, panel screws that that holds on that panel, which is aluminum, by the way, it's not plastic, uh, actually acts as the pivot as well. So if you do open yours up, you want to be careful that that doesn't slide out the back. Um, now you can see this spring here. Now that spring gives that tension to the lockup. Um, you can see how that moves there, and it keeps this pulled down. It, it provides a great kind of assisted open feature um, once it gets you get past the 90 degrees it opens right up. Uh, taking a closer look here you can kind of see how this works. Um, in order to close the blade this entire bar has to pivot up on this backside. Uh, if you put any pressure on this backside you're not going to want to or it's not going to want to move so you can't move the blade. Um, really simple design when you get down to it uh, but it's also extremely effective. This does certainly have more moving parts, so it is more likely to have something to fail than your basic liner lock. Alright guys, we're back with the panels on it. I think this knife is certainly worth the $70 that I spent on it. Um, if you think so too, I will put the link down in the description. They do have a version with the clear panels on it now. or. Uh, the clear sides on it so you can see all the mechanics inside every time you open and close it without having to take anything off. Uh, it gets a little bit more wow factor but it's also a little bit more expensive. If you liked my review of this knife and want to continue seeing reviews, please comment and subscribe. I uh, would love to hear your thoughts and any suggestions. Uh, if you know of any other interesting knives, I'm always looking for mechanically unique um, knives to collect and review. Uh, I certainly like even more if they are a really usable and practical design like this one. If you did like my review and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe uh, to my channel. Uh, I'll try to put out a video a week. I am a student, so I can get a little bit busy sometimes, but uh, I'll do my best for you guys. If you have any suggestions or comments on either the video or even future knives to review, put a comment in the comments below. I uh, would love to hear from you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment those as well. Have a good one, guys.